Hello, hello! Another tutorial that I wanted to do, so it's about OCR. As I said, these tutorials are meant for helping others, but at the same time also serving as a guide for me as uh, some documentation. Uh, so there are these two files that I can use as an example, but I, I can... Uh, let, let's add one more. one complex one i think this one will not work yeah this one will not work but uh let's see if we can this one maybe let's see let's see this one you know what let's <coughs> Okay, let's let's try that. So, <coughs> what do we want to do? We can use their multiple uh, frameworks to do that. One of them being uh, this one, uh, Easy OCR. It works quite well. So it's a whole pipeline. It, it's not just. I think I have it open here, so you can see it. Uh, it was updated five days ago, so it's kept. Uh, refreshed. You can install it by using pip install easy OCR. OCR. Uh, I will show you the code so you can use English, Chinese, or whatever. Have multiple languages. You can uh, say how much details you want. We will do that too. Let, let me just add that here. So since it's it's not a big project, I'm just using uh, Vim to edit this. I don't need uh, a whole whole project. So let's switch back. Um, I I don't know yet how to train uh, my model. Uh, so you have the whole process. It's not just like uh, Tesseract. You have Tesseract, but Tesseract is just. Uh, text recognition part uh, it, it doesn't so this one also is quite uh, kept is kept quite updated 44,000 uh, stars whereas easy OCR has uh, 14,000 so the thing with Tesseract is that you need to you need to pre-process your image. Uh, you have also Keras OCR that I have never tried. <coughs> that uses, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken, it uses uh, Tesseract. It seems quite easy to use. And then you have one other one uh, that seems quite interesting. Oh, this seems interesting. It looks like it's quite easy to train, to retrain. Whereas this one, I mean, th there is a how to retrain, but read here, train, use your own model. It doesn't look that trivial I, I, I haven't tried it but so about this there is also this one MMOCR so MMOCR is part of open MM lab which is part of I guess so they do computer vision but I don't know if there is a big sponsor or if there is so they do open source computer vision Okay, it's just an open source project. That's crazy what they managed to achieve because their results are quite impressive about us, maybe. Okay. Uh, <coughs> okay, interesting. 
it th this one is very well done because as you you will see I will show you uh, this one also is kept quite updated and it has not that many stars but it has quite a few um, the thing with this one is that you can just change bricks the same way easy OCR wants to do it so they, they, they would like to be able to change this for example this uh, text detection craft that works quite well craft github text detection <coughs> so you have multiple steps the first one being to detect the text and then to process it and then to um, recognize the characters and here you can do the same you can change whatever you, you would like so there is no uh, craft but you have other ones that do work quite well you can read about them individually <coughs> sorry so let's let's uh, I, I didn't manage to make it work uh, through the Python API I did manage to make it work through uh, this here so you to install it you use this I will maybe make a video about that uh, it's quite easy you just copy this and, and it works and then to to use it you go here and then you have examples if I'm not wrong uh, demo here I used the CLI interface and it did work quite well. This one worked quite well. So here you have all of the available uh, neural networks, uh, character recognition and text detection. Uh, and so I didn't manage to make it work through this, but I did manage to make it work through this. So there is a version problem somewhere. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, voila. So back to our easy OCR. Let's just try to run whatever Python file. No, okay. Uh, here. Okay. Can close this. Python OCR that. And the first time it takes a bit of time because it needs to load the model. And ta-da! <coughs> it works. Let's let's run it a second time to get a a clearer output. So the first image is this one. So you can see A10, A10 here. You can see uh, Bordeaux between parentheses here. A85, A85 with a small space. So on this kind of picture, it's working incredibly well. Uh, Vierzon, you can see here Vierzon. Uh, Chateauroux, where is Chateauroux? Chateauroux, even with the accent on the A. Poitiers here, Blois, Saumur, so the order is not right, Tour with a small dash, Aéroport, and Espace, Tour Synergit, it's crazy. <coughs> Boulevard D, uh, Ancien Combattant, and you even have the upper letters and the, the capital letters. Oh, ah, it missed the uh, N here. Memoir des soldats. Here also there is a, it's an L, it's not an L. Pendant la guerre. So if, if, if it's some text like this, I think that's good enough to be corrected. In, in my case, I need to use it for something else, but let's see. It didn't manage to. Oh no, I didn't give it this one. <coughs> Let me change that. Uh, let's just get these two. So by using Y and then change this uh, C and let's change the detail level to one for this one okay so here you can see the details which are 
uh, where the bounding boxes are. Oh, it read actually through a lot. The, the, the bounding boxes and the confidence uh, level. I, I'll just remove that because of too much uh, info. So what what did it guess? A. Okay, it, it's completely off. Ah, oh, here. Oh, oh no, 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 no! It's not off at all. It's detecting all of this small text, man. <laughs> okay, and then you can read A thirty nine fifty eight SLB A. It missed this A, I think, or maybe it is somewhere here, I don't know. Y, N, oh, it's interesting how it kept these together, but not the rest. It's as if it had multiple passes. Y, it, the, the N here is wrong, 101. And D, 12, this one is also wrong. A, 85, it guessed 86. Uh, it missed this 5. 6 B Y S, so it's not perfect. It's far from being perfect, but it's good enough. Let, let's see. I, I want to try with this. Okay, so uh, I have an appointment, so I don't know how far I will go uh, in this tutorial. I might stop it uh, here.